The Dallas Cowboys Report is the number one Cowboys YouTube channel out there. Nobody does the stuff we do. Nobody has this many subscribers, and no one, I think, has more fun. So if you want to join us for free Dallas Cowboys videos, hit that big red button and subscribe today. Today we're taking a look at the current Cowboys playoff picture and their path to getting the number one seed and the incredibly coveted bye in the NFL. Remember, only one bye this year. The Cowboys currently have the number two seed in the NFC behind the Green Bay Packers, the ahead of the Rams, Bucks, and Cardinals. For our purposes, for the seeding purposes, only four teams matter. Green Bay, the Rams, the Bucks, and the Cardinals. The Niners, Eagles, that stuff matters for matchups. We're focused on playoff path. Dallas has games left against Arizona and Philadelphia. Now, if they win and the Rams lose, that would clinch at minimum the number three seed. However, for the purposes of getting the one or the two seed, it would actually be better for Dallas if they win and the Rams win games. The Cowboys rooting guide is a bit more complicated than normal. You want the Packers and Bucks to lose. And the big reason why here, and we'll spend some time on it here, is that Dallas can't be in a head-to-head -head against the Bucks. But a three-team tiebreaker, they're good at that point. Now, you want the Packers to lose the Bucks to lose, and if the Bucks lose a game or two, then it's okay for the Rams to start losing games. Otherwise, you're probably better served if the Rams win, if the Bucks and or Packers, mostly the Bucks, are winning games. As things sit right now, factoring in the likelihood of Dallas winning football games, the likelihood of the other teams winning their games, factors in strength of schedule and whatnot, Odds of winning games, and why time simulated stats here. 18% chance of the number one seed. That's a big boost. Number two seed, 20%. Number three is 24, and number four is 38. In large part because of a potential loss coming up against Arizona. That kind of brings that number down a little bit. But if you win, you can finish no worse than the number three seed. So the Cowboys control their own destiny at minimum for that number three seed. So what seed then will Dallas get? It's one, two, three, or four. There is no in between. So let me know. Shoot your shot. Make your prediction in the comment section. If you get the ad break here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and type your predictions. Let's focus on the Cowboys side, right? Uh, I didn't put Cowboys wins on the rooting guide because, well, duh. Dallas... You want them to win these games. You, and the first step is your toughest game left. The Arizona Cardinals on a losing streak right now. Dallas is favored in this game. If they beat Arizona, this becomes their seeding chances. It's almost 33-33-33. Wait, I definitely did something wrong on that math. Oh, well, whatever. That, can, that can't be right. Let me double check that. What did I do wrong here? Is it supposed to be 20%? No, wait, that's right. I'm, wow, I'm so bad at math. That, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a math guy. There's 100% right there. Jesus Christ, Tom. Uh, that 11% chance is losing to Philly, is, is what you're, you, they, they've assigned them from that perspective. So the math, the math is right. I just didn't trust it. Wow, I'm an idiot. You win this game against Arizona, you are close to locking yourself into the three seed. You beat Philadelphia, and your odds of getting a one, two, or three seed are are a guarantee you will avoid that number four seed, which I really don't want the Cowboys to have this year. But before we get to Philadelphia, you got to take care of Arizona before that. Dallas right now, 11-4. and four. Will they finish the year 13-4? and four? Or will it be 12-5? and five? Or will they kind of collapse down the stretch? Predict the Cowboys' record this year for me. You got 13 wins, 12 wins, or 11 wins. Those are your three options. I know that math is correct. Predict the record for me this year in the comments section. 
And if you want to bet on Dallas to beat Arizona or beat Philadelphia or even just to win the NFC, do it with our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code COWBOYS125. It'll get you a 125% deposit bonus. Dallas right now, plus 500 to win the NFC. This is not to get the number one seed, but to make it to the Super Bowl title. Not seed odds. Dallas plus 500. I mean, maybe it's better than the Super Bowl at that point because, ooh, can you imagine if they win? You'd feel so great inside, and your pocket would feel better. Your wallet would feel good, too. It's chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code COWBOYS125. I want to mention this in depth now. The tiebreaker scenarios. The Cowboys lose the head-to-head 1v1 against the Buccaneers. If it is just Dallas or Tampa for one spot, Dallas doesn't win. They lost the head-to-head, so that matters. Other head-to-heads, they will win for the same reason they win any three-team or four-team, if it happens somehow, tiebreaker. Dallas has the better conference record. Remember, their losses came against the, the Raiders, the Chiefs, and the Broncos plus Tampa. Other teams, the Packers, Bucks, and Rams, lost against NFC squads. So Dallas will win three teams out of That's why you're kind of rooting for L.A. at the current moment. Now to get the number one seed, well, Green Bay is standing in front of you at the current moment. They can actually clinch that one seed this week with a win and a Dallas Cowboys loss. Hopefully, of course, that does not happen this particular week. The Packers have had chances to lose games in recent weeks. They have won their past two games by a combined three points. That's incredibly, incredibly small. The Browns, four turnovers, still almost won the game. The Ravens tried to go for two, didn't get it down the stretch. The Browns, the refs were pretty bad in that game against Cleveland, by the way. Now the Packers face primetime Kirk Cousins and then at Detroit Lions in Week 18. Lions playing better, but I don't I don't feel good. I don't feel good about Dallas getting that number one seed. I think you needed a loss in week uh, against the Ravens or the Browns. So what is the percent chance, and be honest with me, please, that Dallas secures the number one seed? I think anything above 20% is probably a little bit too high at the current moment. So let me know in the comments. Percent chance Dallas secures the number one seed in the NFC this year. All right, the Rams. Again, I mentioned that that weird, I'll call it, situation of they're better off, um, the Cowboys are, having the Rams win games to secure a, they have the tiebreaker against them. If the Rams and Cowboys both win out, that would clinch the number two seed for Dallas. So you're actually cheering for Rams unless the Packers start losing games and it's okay for the Rams. But here's the problem. Their schedule's tough. At Baltimore in Week 17, at the 49ers in Week 18. That's not ideal. Because if the Rams lose a game, yes, Dallas only drops to three, but the Bucks get to jump to number two, even if Dallas wins out. They do not control their own path necessarily to securing the number two seed Dallas does this year. Of these four teams we're going to discuss here, right, who's the biggest threat? P- for the Packers, C for the Cardinals, B for the Buccaneers, and R for the LA Rams. Which team worries you the most? Head down in the comments and speak your mind. The Bucks, of course, are the four seed right now. They have that head-to-head tiebreaker against Dallas, and that is a very big deal. Their schedule, by the way, it's pretty easy. Now, I'll make note that They've lost some weird games. Every team has lost a weird game or two or three this year. And for whatever reason, the Saints seem to just own Tom Brady in Tampa. But at the Jets, home against Carolina, you if you're Dallas, you must assume that Tampa is going to win out. They will win the rest of their games, which if that happens, okay. You got to win out and get help from L.A. in the end. I'll also briefly make note here of Arizona, just in depth. Um, Their path to 
the NFC West does still exist. The problem is, even if they can catch and win the division, they're going to have a tricky time getting that seed over Dallas. And then Dallas is going to just take care of them. This whole path, the number one seed, it goes out the window if Dallas drops the game. They're just, it's not going to happen. The Cardinals, by the way, uh, we talked about getting hot at the right time. This is not it. Three straight losses for Arizona. So if you're Dallas, if you beat Arizona, you cross them off the list. Not a concern for the playoff picture. They could be a playoff matchup. But that's where Dallas sits right now. The path the number one seed exists. But there is also a very good chance they fall to the number three seed or even worse, which I really don't want that number four seed this year.